So you have the iPhone 12 or the 12 Pro. I want to show you four ways that you can use Siri. So really quickly, let me show you the uh, four ways to use Siri, and then I'm going to show you how to um, enable all those as well. So the first way is it doesn't even matter if your phone is locked or sleeping right now. You can say, hey, Siri, what's tomorrow's forecast? Expect some clear skies tomorrow. The high will be 90 degrees and the low. OK, that's one way. The second way is simply just pressing and holding the power button until you see Siri pop up here, and then you can go ahead and, and ask your question. So, for example, power button's here. I'm going to press and hold and wait for this. What's the largest mountain in the world? Here's what I found from wikipedia.org. Mount. OK. Now, the third way uh, using Siri is if you have enabled this floaty icon here, and what you can do is you can just tap on that, or even if, if you're on your lock screen here, you can still tap it, okay? I'm going to press it. How many miles in 50 kilometers? The answer is 31.07 miles. Okay, and, uh, and the fourth way is I'm going to double tap the back, okay? Ready? Here we go. What's the capital of North Carolina? Raleigh is the capital of North Carolina. Okay, so let me show you how to set all of these up now. Now, personally for me, I mean, there's a bunch of ways you can activate uh, Siri, but personally, I like to just go ahead and press and hold the, uh, the power button here, but you may, you may have a different preference. Anyway, I show you how to enable all four ways, and you can pick whichever one you like best, or you can keep all of them, or two or three of them, whatever you wish. Okay, so first ways, let's make sure that the power button is enabled for Siri. So just go into your settings here, and then from your settings, you wanna go ahead and you wanna scroll down, until you see Siri and search. So tap on that. Now, by default, you should have these ones two on, okay? Press side button for Siri. So you press the side button and then you just go ahead and talk, okay? For example, again, so I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold this power this power button, press and hold, and wait till you see this Siri pop up here. It usually takes like two seconds, okay? Ready, go. Who's the first president of the United States of America? Here's an answer from wikipedia.org. George Washington, February 22nd, okay. 1732. And then if you want to stop it, you can just Annette. swipe up like that. Also take note that the uh, allow Siri when locked. So even when you're locked like this, you can still press and hold the power button and, and ask, and a Siri will uh, turn on. You can ask her whatever question as well. So now the second way to do it is basically listen to listen for Hey Siri. So I'm going to go ahead and enable this. And of course, okay, so we need to go ahead and set this up. So let, let's set this part up really quickly. Let's click on continue. I gotta say this. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And that should be it, okay? Now, any, anytime I say those words, she's going to go and activate, okay? Now, I also have it on uh, uh, allow Siri when locked. So even when it's locked, I'll be able to say this, okay? So I can say, hey, that's going to activate. And even when it's locked, because I have um, allow Siri when locked. So even if I go ahead and leave it on lock here, so I'll lock my phone. I mean, it's locked right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, I'm going to say the hey, okay, ready? Hey, Siri. What's the population in India? As of 2020, the population of India is 1,326,093,247. Okay, so you got that as well. And so the third way to use Siri is if we enable the assistive touch, simply just go into your settings here and then go ahead and scroll down until you see, uh, here it is, accessibility. So tap on that and now tap on touch right here. And now assistive touch is currently off. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So I'll turn on assistive touch on. Now there's a couple things I can do, okay? I can go ahead and do a single tap on this little floaty icon. This will be on this will be on the lock screen as well. But I can tap on that for single tip or single tap and do something, double tap or long press. I would recommend just doing long press this way, especially if you use um, single tap. A lot of times you may be hitting it by accident. So if you do long press here, and then just go ahead and simply look for Siri right here. So now if you go ahead and long press 
and I can do it here or even if I move it over here you can see this floaty icon no matter where I go on the screen it's going to be here okay even if I go to my lock screen here it's going to be here as well okay so let's go ahead and do this a long press I'm going to press and hold what's the capital of North Dakota Bismarck is the capital of North Dakota okay now the fourth the last way you can use it uh, using Siri is simply doing double tapping the back of the phone or you can triple tap okay so you have to enable that within settings so go to your settings and then from your settings you want to go ahead and you want to go down you want to go down to accessibility again so go all the way down accessibility right here tap on that again you want to touch on touch and now what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it says back tap here okay so tap on back tap now we can um, turn on Siri by doing a double tap or a triple tap, okay? So for, for instance, I mean, I have them both on screenshots here. So if I do a double tap right now, it's gonna do a screenshot. Okay, and I have it on triple tap as well, but let's just do double tap. Let's go ahead and go double tap and let's just go ahead and turn on Siri right there. And now, and remember I had that setting on use Siri even if it's locked, so I can you know double tap right now or even if my phone is locked so now I just simply double tap on there okay ready watch ready what's the forecast in Singapore tomorrow it doesn't look so nice in Singapore tomorrow down anyway, to 77 degrees with the I think you guys got the message here any questions or issues just uh, comment below all right good luck guys bye